in every single community you have a few bad kids. Like, you know, they say you have a few bad apples and stuff like that. You don't throw the whole tree away because of the bad apples. So I feel like this is the same thing that's going on with that community. Talking about change is one thing, but like if you really believe in something, actioning and taking responsibility is, is a big step because that sets the foundation for moving forward. Rest assured, in the shadows we will find A place where you and I reside The rest of the world can watch right Hey y'all, my name's Mo. I'm from the legendary hip-hop outfit, The Afrix. From the Comoros Islands, Southeast Africa, migrated to Australia in 1986. Hi, I'm P Unique and I am a rapper slash actress and I migrated to Australia from Sudan in 2002. I'm from originally the Comoros Islands, Southeast Africa. So it's a tiny island between Madagascar and Mozambique. Funny story, uh, growing up in primary school, I remember looking at a world map and our country is so small that it wasn't even on some of the world maps. <laughs> I migrated here with my mum, dad and younger brother in the early 80s and uh, I grew up in the western suburbs um, of um, Melbourne, Footscray. Where I grew up is a very important place for me because it's uh, when I first arrived to Australia there wasn't many people that look and spoke like me and then like in the 90s there was just a, a, a bigger community and so it was nice to be surrounded by that to understand like what some of these principles are that I was being taught at home. <laughs> When I first started doing music, I kind of just wanted to inspire. I've been asleep too long, you know I gotta wake up. All these illusions in my head, I gotta break up. And everybody wanna say I ain't no fighter. The youth within my community, and not just within my community, the other communities. So then I have the capability of making a change and having my stories heard and my culture, my identity, who I am, just sharing that with everybody. We live in every day like we live in yeah. See my life wanna challenge me. Everything's We do a lot of work within the community. We help out a lot with the young people. So how and when did that become your passion? Music was given to me as a way to to channel some of the negative energy that I had. And when I realized the benefits that it gave me, it was like, you know, in terms of like you know, I really believe in um, pay it forward, you know. So to me, it totally made sense that this works, that, uh, you know, um, that you can use music as a way to engage with youth. Whenever I'm doing workshops with uh, young participants, you could think that, oh yeah, cool, I'm teaching them. But the whole time, it's like, you know, you, whenever you're teaching something, I've you're learning as well. Long, you know I gotta wake up. All these illusions in my head. <laughs> I think it's like the the change of attitude. So like previously it was like cool, you had to look and sound a certain kind of way and talk about a certain thing, which was like, you know, getting turned and X, Y, Z. I reckon it's really awesome that the younger generation at the moment are uh, actually a lot more conscious, you know, um, consciously aware of what they're saying. I use it as an opportunity to speak on behalf of their identity, which is awesome because I think Australia needed that. And it's awesome to see that happening now because the more people are doing it, the more it's breaking all the different um, stereotypes, genres, and the way that we access and, and share music. There's some youths because within the Australian community, within the Asian community, like every other community has a few bad kids that go down a different road, but I think they focus so much on that and forget about the beauty and the culture and like the people within that community. It's sad, I guess, that people don't really, people judge and generalize a whole country based on what a few young kids do. And it's just like, even if the kids go out, they drink, they start a fight. It's just like, okay, well, there's some Aussie kids that go out and start a fight. Why don't you bring that on the news? What bothers me nowadays is just that when the kids are doing so well, they want to claim them as Australian. And they're always like, oh, that's our Australian Aussie basketball player, our Australian Aussie um, singer, this. But it's like when they're on the streets fighting, they're like, oh, well, gangs and Apex and, and Sudanese and all this. And it's just kind of like, you can't pick and choose what you want from the community and what you, what you don't want. But I'ma show him every day that I'ma rise up We gon' be okay
okay Changes every day Living every day like we're living for two It's a consistent thing that's happened in Australia over so many years you know, first it was the Europeans, like Italians, Yugoslavians and whatnot, and then the, the Arabs, and then you had the Vietnamese. And each time there was a new influx of, of um, migrants, you know, the, or they always copped the flak. Knowing that that pattern happens, it's kind of like we need to look at ourselves and say, yo, what are we doing here? What, where is this actually coming from? And don't we see this as a problem? We're repeating the same thing, you know? It's like pretty stupid. And especially like, you know, targeting youth, is so insensitive and like really dangerous. Like you yeah, can't. especially with the community. I mean, you Kids are reactive. Kids, yeah, youths from different migrant backgrounds, they're finding it so hard to kind of adapt to, because you, you you know, you leave your house and you're, you're supposed to adapt to the Australian lifestyle and the kids are going out, the kids are drinking, the kids are doing this. But when you go back home, you have to be Sudanese and we have to uphold our culture. When we leave our culture and we're trying to fit in, we're told to go back to our country and we're told that we're not Australian. But you don't feel like you're Sudanese because you don't, you can't really fit in anywhere anymore. So I think the kids are just so lost and they don't know what to do and like they're just being abandoned by each culture. That's a small world, right? But you've got a whole nother world of like all the people within your community that look at you very differently, yeah? So you maybe use that energy to fuel your fire and and make change. At least you'll be able to wake up in the morning saying that, yo, I'm a good person, I've done the right thing. And that's the most important thing because you'll be able to sleep at night. I'm P. Unique. Hey, uh, I'm Mo. And my, and voice, my voice, is voice is a voice for change. change.